Hey guys and welcome back to another buddy review video. The video in which I will review 10 suggested buddies and give my opinion on them. Of course this doesn't mean that they will be added to the game, but they do have a high chance that we might see them in the future. So if any of these catch your eye, let me know in the comments below. Without further ado, let's jump into the first buddy. The first suggested buddy is from my favorite color is blue. Meet Cycli, half Cyclops, half zombie. She uses her book to summon dead five zombies, but has less health because I don't want my buddy to be overpowered. She's an extremely slow attack buddy. So first of all, I really like the design. It's really cute. I know that this person also made a shop with this buddy, which is pretty cool. Uh, the main reason why I wanted to include this is that it's a summoner buddy. I know in the past I said that I didn't want any summoners, but my opinion on that really changed. Now that we have Kit and Shelmet, which basically already summon something. But yeah, this, this looks really, really cool. It's a little bit hard to balance, I think, if it summons five zombies. That's kind of a lot. Like, I think it can get overwhelming really, really fast. Unless she maybe has, like, two HP and, like, you can use static to counter her. But, I mean, she's a really, really cool buddy. Really cool design. And I would love to see her in the game one day. The next buddy is from Leaf. Introducing Poisonous Mushroom Venno. He basically poisons enemies for 5 seconds and he has a passive which is he has a 15% chance to regenerate 35% of its HP. So hmm it, it's that's actually really really OP so that would have to be turned down because it would instantly make it a tank and to be honest poison is one of the best debuffs in the game as of course the more you stack poison the more damage it does so if we have like five buddies that do poison that's gonna be op and to put it on a tank which like almost doesn't die that's that's insane so i'm not sure about poison you know for a tank but you know maybe if we change the passive around i can totally see this work I can totally see him being like, maybe like in an alternate version of Timberland or like a new wood map, maybe even in a cave. The next buddy is from Gloom Shroom. It's Rory. Uh, he costs, I think the 600 there is his cost. I'm not quite sure. It just says 600 randomly. Uh, 15 HP, so that's, you know, kind of on the low side. So it's not really, it's not really a meat shield. So he absorbs the damage from the enemies that attack him, immune to two enemy hits, and then charges his crystal. The crystal then shoots a piercing beam, causing damage of, you know, all, of all the damage he takes. He takes four seconds to recharge his beam, and, and then it starts again with a 10 second cooldown. So I think his design looks really cute. I think his attack is really cute. It should be probably nerfed because like with like being invulnerable for two hits and dealing back the damage that's like captain drowned on steroids so <laughs> we should calm that down we all know what happened when captain d drowned first released and we kind of don't want to repeat that but I, I really like the design like i know that they've actually been building a custom map which this buddy already is modeled so that's really really cool yeah, it looks really, really cute. Next up from Killer Crescendo, Socket, little light bulb in a scarf. So his idle animation can just be him bobbing up and down. Walking, he basically uses the scarf as legs, which is adorable. He didn't know about an attack animation, unfortunately. And upon death, he would, you know, turn, turn off and like fall down. Really cool. So his ideas for buffs and debuffs is maybe he could debuff an enemy's damage a little bit, like decreasing it to like three fourths of the normal damage. He probably about peach range, so that's actually really really cool. But I wouldn't really do damage, I guess, because it might be a little bit OP, and that is true. Since light bulbs are kind of fragile, he could also have low HP with a relatively cheap cost. 
If this was the case, I guess this attacking animation couldn't be bouncing up and down and glowing brighter. But lights out skin would just be him bubbing out and down since he's already off. Also, he's supposed to be slightly transparent, but Discord didn't make the image transparent. That's all okay. I actually really, really like this. I really like his design and I haven't really seen anybody suggest anything like it, which is something that I always really enjoy when seeing custom buddy designs. I think his attack of like, you know, making himself, you know, stand tall and strong and then like doing a giant light flits, like maybe around this, you know, around what Koda does, but instead of like in a line forward, it would be like PD, like a light around him. And probably everything in range would either get the debuff you describe, maybe a new debuff. But I could definitely see this guy being a support, like a debuffer, uh, which we don't really have yet. Like the only debuffers I think right now are Rain Girl and Dicey. So having a new debuffer would be really, really cool. I see a lot of potential for this guy. Probably Buddy Shop because I really can't imagine any map that he would fit in. But yeah, really, really cool. Next up from Shati, Tricho, Front and Bezo, Back. Similar to Chomper's plant in Plants vs. Zombie, Chico can swallow one enemy wall, but it's extremely vulnerable while chewing, and takes longer to chew based on the HP of the buddy he's eating. Cost would be 550 or something, because he'd be an emergency summon like Jane. After eating a buddy, Chico and Benzo can despawn or some other mechanic. Based on a yokai, since some people are doing Japanese themed buddies. First of all, I loved the design, that's the main reason why I picked it. About one-shotting an enemy, I'm not quite sure. Maybe if it doesn't apply to bosses, I can actually see it work. But him having like a really, really low chew time. And while he is eating, maybe he takes like 50% more damage. So he dies quicker while he's chewing. But yeah, I think this could actually be really, really cool. I don't really see him being used in PvE stages. But more in PvP. I think this can be a really dangerous threat for PvP. Like maybe the your enemy in PvP has like this giant uh, being and he buffed it with like all the support. And then you just send out Trico and it's like, Arp! and you know, he's gone. Like it, it could be a really cool but risky summon to have on your team in PvP. And I like that. Next up from Dog Rock. Clem and Clemo. I loved this design and I'm gonna be completely honest if I saw this design before Shelmet this would have probably been the rare buddy of Castaway Cove as I just love his concept. We probably, this is like one of the buddies that I can say that we probably see in the future one way or another but at this moment I'm not gonna make any promises but I don't know, I just really like his design, he's really unique, he fits battle buddies. I'm just unsure about his passive. I'm guessing this could be the bomb buddy that everybody, everybody, everybody wants. Uh, well, because he's a bomb. He would probably be really, really slow. But yeah, he's, he's super cool. I really, really like this. Fits Castaway Cove perfectly. And yeah, awesome. Next up from Bobly Pro, say hi to Squell. So his name is Squell and it's a buddy for the buddy shop. And when I saw this, I actually fell in love with him. He's really, really cute. I love the mask. I, I think this guy could even work on like a Halloween map. I really, really do. I think he can even work on like a scary map. He doesn't even need to be in the buddy shop. Only problem is I have no idea what he would do. Like, he kind of gives me Pit vibes. You know how Pit is, like, very quick and attacks quick. But let's be honest, we cannot have, like, another Pit. That would be a little bit lame. So I have no idea what he would do. Hmm. Any suggestions? Next up from NB, a.k.a. Brett. We got this really, really cute Firefly. No description, no name. So it was purely on design. 
I actually really, really liked him. I have no abilities for him. He would probably be super squishy, really, really, really tiny. And that's it. I actually couldn't think of anything else. I just liked the design and I wanted to show it off. That's basically it. Also, looking at all the reactions below it, a lot of people like it too. It's it's cute. It, it's just cute. Can't say more about it than it's cute. Second to last, Inventory suggested Misha and Cosi. So it's a concept by, by him. It's also modeled by him. So Misha and Cosi would be great for a winter map of some sort. And I totally agree. So the design of Misha and Cosi is that Misa is meant to resemble a water drop, while Cozy is an ice cube. The general idea of Misa and Cozy is that it's meant to be a split tank, sort of like Jack and Uncle. Misha has a small amount of health, while Cozy has a large amount of health. When Misa and Cozy spawn, Misa is first in line, meaning Misa's HP is taken first. If Misa die, both Misa and Cozy will die. When Misa comes across an enemy, she will immediately place down Cozy, causing a lot of damage. Now, Cozy is first. All damage is now put on Cozy. And Cozy will attack, will attack dealing relative a lot of... Oh, I, what the hell is that sentence? And Cozy will attack dealing relative a lot of damage. He will just deal a lot of damage. Once Cozy dies, Misha is left, and because Misha is scared or whatever, she runs towards the enemy with the health she has and does not attack. Not gonna lie, I love the design, but I have no idea what she typed. So what I'm guessing is that she has low HP, but when she attacks, she gets high HP, and she has two HP bars, and it's really, really, really confusing. So, let's do another ID. <laughs> Maybe... It's it's a DPS and she throws I think is who, wait who is the who is the ice cube cozy so maybe she throws cozy in in front like maybe like to the to the to an enemy like maybe the furthest enemy and then cozy walks on his own so like you get two buddies for one or maybe I don't know it's just a hard hitting DPS who just slams cozy in the ground all day long I have no idea. I just really, really like the design. The thing you wrote, I, I, I understand it a little bit, but it's really, really complicated. And it's, I have no idea how to even write that in a passive description, to be honest. But I love the design. Great work. And last but not least, created by Among Us Jane creator, MLG boy, Katherine Melee Buddy. 20 HP, 5 damage, a 1.5 speed, a moderate attack speed, 675 cost, a 90 second cooldown, and a passive. Attacks have a 10% chance to cause a love burn, a pink fire effect that prevents healing. Attack animation, goes a twirl and then dashes forward with the sword. That animation steps a sword into the ground and collapses on the ground. I love her! Like, honestly... She would make the perfect girlfriend for Colt. <laughs> and that's the main reason why I love her. I, I, they look so cute together. But for the most part, I really, really like this design. Actually, MLG Boy made a lot of really, really cool skins and buddy designs, which I absolutely love. And this one is no exception. I would love to see it in the game. I have no idea where we would ever see it in the game. But maybe the buddy shop, maybe a rare buddy. I have no idea. It's kind of difficult, but it's a really, really cool buddy nonetheless. So yeah, guys, that were 10 buddies from the community. Which one of these do you actually want to see in the new update? Because maybe, just maybe, we will see it in the next Battle Buddies update. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! <laughs>